Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to talk uh, a little bit about Sketch Picture and the auto trace option that goes with that. Uh, nice thing about the Sketch Picture is that it gives you a, a reasonable approach to be able to draw or sketch on top of the picture itself and get a reasonable expectation of uh, accuracy to that. As long as you have your sketch set up properly, it's a lot more convenient and a lot quicker to be able to draw or sketch right on top of that picture than it is to actually try to go out there and measure it. And what I'm talking about are objects that are relatively large, like um, what we're going to be using in this example is going to be a car. I'm going to show you how to uh, set up the sketch picture in regard to uh, doing some sketching in regard to modeling ultimately a car and some of the steps involved in that. So let's do this. Uh, I already know uh, a couple of measurements in my car and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to draw some basic geometry of the car and that is pretty much the bottom of the car and uh, the wheels. I know what the distance, uh, the center to center distance is between the wheels and we assume that the wheels are going to be uh, are the same size and are going to be on a horizontal line. So that's a fairly easy bit of geometry to be able to draw out. <clears throat> so let's start with that. Let's start with sketch. Go to sketch line. You want to pick the appropriate plane in this plane or this time I'm going to pick the right plane and I'm going to draw a line uh, just uh, near to the origin I'm going to make sure that that line is horizontal it's like the midpoint of that line and the desire here is to try to put our uh, origin right there in the middle of that and I know what the distance is between uh, the wheels so it's going to be 8 foot 4 inches so I'm going to type in 8 single quote 4 double quote and pull that out just a little bit so we can see what we're doing uh, one adjustment you might want to make if you're going to be following something like this, if you're going to be designing a car like this, you want to put things in feet and inches like what we're used to yeah, here in the United States, is uh, go ahead and make adjustments to your uh, to your document settings. So let's go to Document Properties. And I'll pull that into place a little bit. Uh, go down to Units. So what I did is I t uh, pick Custom Units. And one of the options for Custom Units in regard to the, the basic units on top is feet and inches. And you can adjust uh, the the you know the the precision there if you like. I, I'm going to keep it as it is uh, with three units after the decimal, and then go to OK. Two circles. I know our, our tires are going to be about 26 inches, so I'll put a dimension in that. We'll make that uh, 26, and it uh, remembers inches when you do that. And then we're going to take that circle, drag it out here with a control key, click the center of the circle, and the endpoint of that line merge them, and then make these two circles equal to each other. What, 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 what the heck? That circle? Alright, try it again. This circle, that circle with the control key, equal. There we go. Okay, the desire here is when we finally get our sketch picture in here, we're going to manipulate it into place and we're going to stretch it so that the wheels are going to fit within the circles that we've drawn here. So, if you haven't done so, this is how you do it. You get Sketch Picture out by uh, modifying your command manager. And the way you want to do that is you want to right click on it, scroll down to Customize, and you'll get a screen like this. What you want to do is go into Commands, and Sketch Picture is part of the Sketch command elements. So go into Sketch, and you will see it over here, and all you have to do is drag that up into your toolbar, next to the other one that's up there. And if you don't like that, you can go ahead and delete that. Okay, well, as long as we got that open, let's pick the sketch picture. Uh, you can uh, use images um, that are manipulated in other programs. What I did up here is I took my uh, Corolla that I took a picture of a couple years ago before I did a remodel on the garage, because I went to size the garage up in SolidWorks, to make sure that all the cars fit in there. Uh, I took my Corolla in a snowy day and uh, took the background out, and I manipulated that in GIMP. GIMP is a free... Um, uh, a downloadable uh, image manipulation program that you can get and it's my favorite because I like the price uh, you can uh, install a JPEG, a TIFF file, a PNG file I believe or just about um, most of the uh, typical uh, image formats but it'll, it'll list it down here you can get a bitmap, a GIF file, a JPEG uh, long JPEG, TIFF uh, and some of the other ones so I'm going to choose a JPEG just because it's more common and what it does is it puts that picture in there. Usually it parks it in the lower left hand corner of, uh, of you, you'll find in the lower left hand corner of the image you will find the origin. So what we want to do is move this and stretch it. You can take these grips and on the side and stretch it out that way. You can take the corner grips and do the same thing. It doesn't scale like it does in AutoCAD but it does uh, stretch it. 
So I'm going to put one of the wheels in place and just kind of stretch that back until the other wheel is uh, pretty much in the same location. <clears throat> now seems pretty good. If you need to, if you need to rotate the image, you can do that too. So you might put a, maybe a two degree rotation in there. Let's make that a negative two degrees. Uh, maybe a negative one degree. And let's just stretch that back just a little bit so that wheel fits in uh, outside that circle that, I'm, that I've drawn. And now we're in pretty good shape. Let's do auto trace. Auto trace is this uh, on this blue button. And if you haven't loaded auto trace, let's go ahead and exit out of this by going to the green check mark. What you want to do is go to tools, go to add ins, and auto trace is one of the add ins that you can get out. And I have that selected over here for auto trace. And once you do that, if you go back in the picture and double click in that picture, or if you initiate another sketch picture, uh, it gives you that option. Go to the blue arrow, and now we're starting in Auto Trace. For some reason, uh, the image disappears, but if you uh, zoom in on it with the middle mouse button, it does appear to come back. There's a couple different options here. You can go to uh, use a rectangular select tool and maybe pretty much select everything, or almost everything if you want to do that. And once you do that, you can go to Begin Trace, and it traces out uh, everything. What it does is it puts in splines for the most part. And if you want to go ahead and get out of that and go to the green check mark, it gives you the ability to edit that just like in any other sketch. Uh, a lot of these are just uh, simple splines. And if you have some irregularities in here, you can go ahead and erase those just like any other sketch element. You also see lines in here, short line segments. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. There's a short line segment, but for the most part, what you get is splines. If that's okay with you, then you go ahead and use that. And once you have, uh, once you have everything uh, set up the way you like in regard to auto trace, and this is by far very convenient to use, uh, then uh, you're, you're welcome to go on to the next step, and I'll show you that in a, in a subsequent film. Now, if you want to get rid of that sketch picture, not necessarily get rid of it, but put it in the background if you right click on it. You can go to, um, let's go ahead and rebuild this first. Right click on it, and you can go ahead and suppress that. And what it does is it leaves your sketch elements in there for further manipulation. So it actually does a pretty decent job. I'm going to go ahead and stick with this line down here. I can take that line and maybe make that horizontal, kind of straighten things out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make this line uh, turn that in construction, into construction geometry. I'm going to go ahead and delete this line in regard to that wheel and go ahead and keep the, the round uh, circular line that I have there because I think it will resolve itself a little bit better. Take your trim tool, trim out what you don't need. And it appears like we're in pretty good shape here in regard to getting this traced out. So there you go, there you have the basics of, uh, of uh, the auto trace. And uh, what we've used that auto trace in as just a refresher here is uh, using sketch picture in a sketch element. So in the next film, I'll show you a little bit more in regard to some of the other options in regard to auto trace, and then I'll show you a car that I put together in regard to uh, using uh, both the front and uh, the right and the back images of the car in order to, to draw the certain portions of the car and uh, get that all sketched out. Okay, thank you.